Everything's gonna be all right. I'm going to start moving down the bench um, with a couple of old planes that I've got. Uh, the first one I'll use is this one, this number four and a half. This one's fairly old. Um, I think it was made in the 20s or the 30s. Um, it's an old number four and a half, American made plane by Stanley. So I'll, um, I'll start with this. I'll just hog out a lot of the rough stuff, a lot of the highs, um, take out a lot, a lot of wood with this one. And then I'll finish off with this one. Um, this is an English made plane, it's a number five and a half. Again, with a wider base on it. So, and I'll, I'll just use this as a smoothing plane. So I'll just, when I'm finished, getting it down to the level I wanted to, I'll just run along with this um and smooth it all out so i'll do it diagonally as well and then to finish it off i'll just run along with the grain back and forth and i should finish it um yeah this one here this was um not quite as old as the other one and um, this was probably made in the 60s in england so but it's still got the wooden handle that i like um, unfortunately, Stanley, I think it was in like the 80s or the 70s, probably late 70s, 80s, they went to plastic. I don't know, save money or something, I suppose, but uh, I reckon it wouldn't have taken away the quality of the plane, it's just it, all plastic handling, you know. So I, bought, I got the old planes, like I tried to get all um, pre World War II tools because, um, well, they've already proved themselves, they're already old. They normally just need to clean up and the sharpen and they're as good as new. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll start, uh, start getting into it. Right, uh, um, I've finished flattening out the bench. I think it turned out pretty good. I'll give it a bit of a sand and uh, put some oil on, some tongue oil and stuff over it. So yeah, it's come up quite nice, I reckon. So now we're up to the vise. So we'll fit that. I just went and bought some of this hardwood stock. Um, I think it's from New Zealand. Um, two by five piece, quite sturdy, you know, so I'll just cut it off about, I don't know, 10 or so inches. Um, drill a few holes in to receive the vice screw and the guiding rods. Um, yeah, and then I'll just bolt this piece onto the vice itself and it should be all good.
morning. Well, I finally finished the bench yesterday or last night. Ended up putting that bias on, as you saw. It's all right. Um, again, it's not exactly straight, but um, I think because the bench top wasn't straight as well, which put the bias out. So, anyway, it works. Holds the pieces all right, so, and um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Today, I want to go into the port area of Cebu, where it all began, back in the 1500s. So we'll have a look around there, and a couple of old houses that I want to see. Um, they date back to um, 1850, and there's another one dates earlier than that, back to the 1780s, I think it is. So I want to have a look at a couple of those and then probably a bit of lunch and see what happens at the end of the day.
that's it for this week. Um, I'll wrap the video up here, I think. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying the Philippine stuff. I know there's no trucks or anything in it, but, uh, you know, I am on holidays. Later on in the week or next week, we're going to organise a trip up north. So, you know, we'll run up through the other provinces, have a bit of a look around. We might take like two or three days, I reckon. Just run up, go around the island, come back down. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look then. Yeah, earlier today, I went back down to the hardware and bought some more timber, bought some marine ply um, for the workshop, like inside the tool, tool shop there. So I'll probably, when that gets delivered, maybe tomorrow, I think it's a holiday tomorrow, something about the Muslims having a holiday, so they might not deliver it until Thursday, like today's Tuesday, so nothing tomorrow, probably deliver it Thursday. So um, if I've got time, I'll see if I can make a start on the workshop. Um, if not, we'll do it next week. Um, if we're not travelling, that is. So, alright, well, that's it for this one, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Sail on off the radar And venture away from this Trouble